Hey, Kooptonian here, and welcome back to the channel. In this video on Authentic, I'll demonstrate how to add 2FA slash MFA, or what is known as two-factor and multi-factor authentication respectively, to your login and enrollment flows. I will cover time-based one-time password configurations so you can use Authenticator apps such as Google Authenticator, Microsoft Authenticator, or Authy, the one built into Bitwarden, or similar apps. Personally, I like and use the one built into Bitwarden. However, Authy and the one by Microsoft are a close second because you can sync your accounts across your devices so that whenever you upgrade your device, you don't have to re-enter all of your accounts that have two-factor slash multi-factor authentication. And later in the video, I'll demonstrate how to set up Duo if you prefer that method. First, you want to navigate to your Authentic instance and log in as admin. Then, click on Admin Interface. Expand Flows and Stages, and click on Flows. And under Authentication, click on your main page login flow. Then click on Stage Bindings. Your bindings may look different than mine, but feel free to infer from it. Here we want to click Bind Stage and choose Default Authentication MFA Validation under the Authenticator Validation stage at the top of the list. Enter a value for your order that sits between your identification stage and your login stage so that upon login attempt, the user is prompted to enter their 2FA slash MFA code. I'll enter 30 and click Create. Now click Edit Stage. Be sure all relative device classes are selected. For Not Configured action, choose Force the user to configure an authenticator. That way, any new enrollments will trigger the flow to set up two-factor slash multi-factor authentication. And now be sure the default authenticator TOTP setup stage is selected under the configuration stages and click update. Now to test it out. If you don't have your enrollment flow set up yet, click the link here in the top right to watch my other video on how to set this up. Also, if you haven't already, pause the video and download and install any of the authenticator apps I mentioned in the beginning of this video. Let me open up a Chrome incognito tab to authentic. Next, I'll click on Sign Up to Enroll. I'll enroll as Wally West and enter in all his info. Click Continue and wait for the confirmation email. OK, I have received the confirmation email. So just click the Confirm Account link, which brings us back to our authentic login page. So we can now try to log in as a new user, Wally West. As you can see, it is now prompting us to set up our TOTP authenticator. Now that I have a QR code for this example, let me launch Google Authenticator from my phone and scan the code. Go ahead and enter that number and click continue. And we successfully logged in as Wally. For those interested in Duo Push for two factor authentication into Authentic, note that the user device registration, at least for now, is not automatic. And the setup is a bit more involved than the time based, one time password method. If you don't have Duo, you can go to their website and sign up for their Duo free tier that will allow up to 10 users. OK, let's get started. Log into your Authentic instance with an administrator account. Click Admin Interface. Expand Flows and Stages and click Flows. Click Create. And for name, I'll name it Duo Push 2FA and I'll name it same for title. And under designation, pick stage configuration and click create. Okay, now scroll down and go ahead and click on Duo Push 2FA that we just created. Click on stage bindings, create stage, and choose Duo Authenticator Setup Stage and click Next. Okay, for name, 
I'll go ahead and enter duo push 2FA setup. Under stage specific settings, the integration key, the secret key, and API hostname will have to be pulled from your Duo account. So go ahead and open up a new tab to duo.com, click admin login, enter your login credentials that you signed up with, click on whichever you have set up to confirm your identity and either tap approve if you set up Duo push or enter the passcode if you've only set up text messaging. If this is a fresh Duo account, you will load into protect an application. In the search field, start to type auth API, and you'll see Duo auth API as one of the results. If this is not a fresh Duo account, the dashboard may be the first to load. In which case, just click the Add New drop-down button and click Application to get to the same Protect an Application page. Again, start to type auth API and click Protect. Now you'll see an integration key, secret key, and API hostname generated for us. Click on copy for the integration key and go back to your authentic tab and paste it into the integration key section and repeat this for the secret key and API hostname as well. For configuration flow, select the Duo Push 2FA flow created earlier and click finish. Click Bind Stage, and under Stage, select Duo Push 2FA Setup, and click Create. Click on Flows, and click your main default authentication flow. Click on Stage Bindings, and for your MFA validation, click Edit Stage. Be sure the relative device classes are chosen and scroll down and choose your Duo Push 2FA setup and make sure your TOTP is still selected and click update. Now we'll need to create a token for Duo to use. So click on directory, click on token and app passwords, click on create and for identifier I will enter Duo Push 2FA token and under user be sure you choose an admin account and for description I'll enter token for duo use uncheck expiring and click create now copy the token by clicking the little copy icon here at the end Open a new tab and type your authentic address in the address bar with forward slash API forward slash v3 and let that load Authentic's API browser. Under authentication where it says API key, paste the API token copied a moment ago and click set. Type duo in the search field on the left and click search. Click on stages slash authenticator slash duo slash stage UUID slash import devices. Now we need to obtain the stage UUID. To do this, open another tab, enter your authentic address followed by forward slash API forward slash v3 forward slash stages forward slash all and hit enter. You'll see what looks like a jumbled mess. Press Ctrl F and type Duo in the search field to find the Duo stage that was created. Right before the first Duo instance found, you'll see the letters PK followed by a long hyphenated number. Select this number and copy it. Go back to the other tab and paste the number you just copied into the stage UUID field. Now to simulate a new user enrollment that will use Duo. I'll open up an incognito tab to Authentic. Click sign up and enter info for my new user Dick Grayson and click continue and wait for the account confirmation email. Confirmation email has been received. Now click on confirm account which will bring us back to the authentic login page.
enter Dick Grayson's login info, and click Login. We are prompted to select time-based one-time password or duo for authentication. Choose duo. A QR code pops up. Launch the duo app on your phone and tap to add an account. Tap use QR code and scan the code provided by Authentic. Rename the account if you wish. I'll name mine D. Grayson. Otherwise, click Save. The user is now registered with Duo, however, not with Authentic, and this is the part that isn't automatic. The tab from Authentic with the Duo QR code is no longer needed and can be closed. Go back to the browser tab that has your Duo dashboard open. Click on Users and you'll see the user that just enrolled. Click on the user, in this case it's D. Grayson. Look in the address bar, the last bit after that last forward slash is the Duo user ID needed. Select and copy it. Go back to the Authentic tab with the Duo user ID field and paste the ID there. For the username field, enter the authentic user's username. Again, in this case, it's D. Grayson. Click on Example if you want to see what's going on. Otherwise, click Fill Example and then click Try. If the response status is 204, everything was successful. Now to test dual authentication for Dick Grayson. I'll open up an incognito window to Authentic. and enter Dick's info and click Login. I received a Duo push notification on my phone to either deny or approve the login request and so I tap Approve. Authentic then finally allows the user in. You can verify this Duo user is now registered in Authentic by going back to Authentic's admin interface. Click on Users under Directory. Click on the user that enrolled with Duo. Click on MFA Authenticators. And see, it shows Imported Duo Authenticator. In the end, until Authentic and Duo's integration becomes more automatic, you'll probably find this process tedious, as the steps involved in copying and pasting info into Authentic's API browser for the API token, stage ID, Duo ID, and user ID will need to be repeated for each user. And until an administrator does this, the enrolling users will not be able to log into Authentic. I hope this video helps anyone watching, and if so, please share it. Hit that like button so it finds a bigger audience, and subscribe. I'll see you around, and thanks for watching.